we'll start at number 20. Um, and I and I don't want to say sneaking in at number 20. Um, <laughs> they earn their spot, you know. Um, and and essentially we we start off with Pretoria Boys High from Pretoria Twane. Um oh. <laughs> Uh, that, that feels like a bit of a sneak. Yeah, that, that, that feels like a bit of a sneak. You know, Pretoria boys, I, I mean, they're okay. But, you know, I mean, listen, they're, they're, there are quite a few schools that fall that are falling outside of this top 20 that I think would, uh, would, would beg to, to differ if, if, if we said head to head. Um, what, are, what are the scores looking like? You know, so, but hey, listen, Rep Pretoria... I think- I think boys high, boys high is like the. Who can I say? Boys high is like the the Bangladesh of the league. Like <laughs> you think you could beat them, but they always the guys that they'll ruin your World Cup campaign. They'll ruin your league run. They'll, <laughs> they'll always manage to ruin your run as a team that's on its way. That, yeah. That for me is who boys are. I may be wrong. I may be wrong. I may I may get some clap back from some boys high guys if I am wrong. Reach out to us. Let us know, man. Let, am I wrong? First of all, stats wise, has boys high has boys high ever won the league? As yeah, I mean they they play in the Pretoria in the Pretoria league. Yes, they have. Okay, they have won the league. Um, but I think more importantly, it's it's to rank them against some of the the independent schools that I'm pretty sure a lot of boys high guys see themselves competing against the Ronda Boshes of this world, the Afis of this world, Saint Stidians of this world, right? So if we look yep. at the world, if we look at the um, sort of the SA schools rankings, um, they've been in the top ten. Uh, what? Let's say three times, right? They were eighth. Uh, they've yeah. been six. They've Top been ten. Tenth. Okay. 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 I may, <laughs> I may have to may have to take that back. Boys yeah, I, you might I need to, to swallow to those back. words. You might need to swallow those words because I mean numbers speak for themselves, right? They've been in the top ten three times, um, but again, I think with a bit of that 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 Bangladeshi spice you were talking about. <laughs> Um, they've sat at 38, um, they've sat at 24th, at 51st, um, yeah, and at 24th. So, uh, they've only it been... It sounds, <laughs> it sounds to me, <laughs> it sounds to me like boys, I has a bit of a consistency issue. I think that as an all boys school, they've got the luxury of having large crops of boys come in. And every now and again, they get a good crop of cricket players that they put together. But I'd like to speak to Boys High to find out what their actual cricket program looks like. Is this is this a fluke where one year they at the top, next year they're at the bottom? Or is it a program that they're actually running, that they work? I'd love for Boys High to reach out to us. Let us know, man. Yeah, listen, I, I, I'm I'm interested in the same thing, right? We've got the director, the director of cricket is Mr. D. Jefferson. Um, so, Mr. G. Jefferson, if you could reach out to us, we'd like to hear what your program looks like. Listen, we've spoken to St. John's. They're fantastic. They've run us through their program. We've spoken to Dale College. They've run us through their programs. We've got a couple of other schools lined up as well. So... If the director of cricket at Pretoria Boys High will reach out, we'd like to hear what your what your program sounds um, uh, is designed to do. Otherwise, we'll just leave it at just inconsistency, man. Maybe you just don't always get the best crop of players. Who knows? We don't know because you haven't said yeah. anything. Look, from our point of view, I'm hearing the stats. I'm hearing where you guys have been in terms of the league and the log and all that stuff. Um, in terms of rankings, and to me, it sounds as if they reliant on, hey, hopefully this year we got a good crop of players. But is there an actual <laughs> program that guarantees a bit of consistency? Because I've, I, I mean, we spoke to um, who was it, uh, Coach Norris at yeah. uh, St. John's from St. John's, yeah, and he 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 
broke it down for us, let us know exactly how they sort of, how they groom their players. Like it's not just a sports thing. And it would be interesting to hear how schools, public schools like Boys High um, invest in terms of how do you, do you actually focus on, and this isn't, you know, criticizing Boys High at all on this. It just, it would be interesting to hear from schools to say, how do you guys focus on the cricket players? Is it just the season where guys are playing cricket, the guys that are good play, the guys that are not, you know, it is what it is. And then next season we move on to the next sport or is there a real program where guys can, and you know, this goes out to more than just boys. I think this goes out to schools out there. The top schools that we're going to mention now, we want to hear from uh, more of you guys to see what's your program like? How's that looking? Yeah. I'm interested, man. Yeah, I agree. And, and, and for, 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 for kids and, and parents that are out there that are looking for good cricketing programs, right? Um, mm. you know, this is a great opportunity for them to, to speak for themselves. Well, there's one thing they're not missing, and that's facilities, okay? So these Oaks, yeah. these Oaks have six cricket pitches. They've got nine okay. artificial nets and two sets of turf practice nets. Yes, sir. Yes, huh? sir. Okay, so so they're not they're not like they're not struggling. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they're not they're not they're not trying to figure out how to resurface their um, their artificial nets. You know, they've they've yeah. got some turf nets probably for these senior guys. Um, nine artificial um, nets. Have they produced any real players though? I mean, let's get down to the nitty gritty, right? <laughs> like, have they have they produced notable players? Let's is there a list? Or is there just one guy that came out of there? I mean, I know Boys I has produced quite a few rugby players. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if they've produced any cricket players. Uh, listen, I've looked around, man, and I, and I don't, I don't pick anything. I don't, there's nothing on their website. Um, there's very little on, um, what do you call it? Uh, what is it? Schools, SA South African schools. Um, there's nothing yep. there. So no, so listen, if there are any boys out boys, you know of guys who've played for for the Pro Tiers or I mean for the Pro Tiers we know. Um, but even in, in franchises, right? If if you've played it, if if you've produced any first class guys, I know there are guys that, that do leave the country and go play somewhere else. Um I haven't found yeah. anything from Boys High. If they could let us know, that'll be great. It'll bolster <laughs> the the conversation to go a little bit their way. Yeah. But as as things stand, because these schools are proud of the stuff, you know what I mean? Like, um, if you go yeah. to a lot of the, you'll see with number one, the school that's at number one. I mean, they proudly talk about how many uh, pro tiers they've produced, uh, how many sort of first class players they've produced. Um, and that kind of thing. So I'm actually quite surprised for Boys High um, that they don't have anything like that on their website. 